Welcome back to another video. We just hit 100 subscribers, so make sure you hit that subscribe button down at the bottom right hand corner. And today we're actually going to be talking about the Shodan application command line. And we're going to want to use the command line for a lot of instances because it's a lot more powerful than the actual website is. And like I said in my last video, the website only looks in the banner, it doesn't search through metadata when you use the search bar. But when you use queries and filters, the, uh, you can actually get all the information from the metadata also. So to download it, you're just going to want to go to easy install Shodan, and it will download it automatically. Um, it's really easy to do. And then the first thing you're going to have to do is put in your key for Shodan. And the way you do that is you're going to have to create an account. And let me pull this over here. You're going to have to create an account. And then at the top right hand corner, you just have to click on show API key. And <clears throat> then you're going to have to just go to Shodan, initialize, and then you're going to have to put in your key. And as you can see, the only thing you have to do is just paste, copy and paste the key in there. So it's really simple to do. So starting out today, I'm going to show you some basic commands you can do. And the first one is just if I want to count how many devices are using port 22. So I could do Shodan count port 22 and it should spit out a large number and as you can see there is over 18 million different IOT devices on port 22 and you can do this for any port so I could do port 44 I could do any port I wanted to so 88 will probably have a whole lot um, so you can do that and get a whole bunch of information that way but you can also specify it to count ports in a certain country. So if I just wanted to count how many uh, devices are running on port 8080 in country USA, then it'll spin out just the information from the United States. So that's a pretty cool thing. And then let's say you want to create a report or keep track of all these things. You can simply output it by just doing a um, larger or greater than symbol and then to the file you want so we'll just do this as we'll just do show then and what it will do is it will actually just put it in this directory so as you can see right here show then pops up so I can cat that and it should be the same number yep so it's the same information that it should be but it's in a file on your computer so it's really easy to keep track of and I'm just gonna delete that real quick so now um, to get a little more in depth you can search a um, host of a history and everything like that so we're gonna use reddit here so ping so we're just doing this to get the IP address and as you can see it comes up first thing so this is reddit's IP address you know copy that and I can do shodan host and gather a whole bunch of information on reddit's IP address and it should come with port number organization location so here it is, it's from San Francisco, it's in the United States, the organization is Fastly. Number of ports open is two, but it only lists one, so I don't know what that's about. But it gives you a whole lot of information on all different ports, it's kind of like a uh, Nmap scan in a way, but more information on the um, device itself. And you can download all the different results into anything, so um, we're really into a JSON file and strip it down into a CVS file which is just readable, more readable for people to read. It's not really computer language, it's just more organized. So if I want to get facts on stats about Shodan, I can actually search and find out which country has the most Apache devices running on it. And I can simply do that by doing Shodan stats. Jeez, I can't type facets. Sorry, facets, and we're going to want to use search the countries here, and then we're also searching to see how many Apache devices are running in the country. So, as you can see, U.S. is first, and then Canada, and it goes on and down. So you can use this and find any kind of information you want. You can output it to a file, and then compare different results. So you can get a whole bunch of information from Shodan's command line. This is just a basic overview of how to set it up, a few tools you can use with it, and in the future I'll have an in-depth 
tutorial on all the different things you can do about it. So make sure you subscribe, leave a thumbs up, like the video, and I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.